Welcome, citizens of the Kaiju Nation, here with a really quick tour review of Evil Tiga. As you may have seen in my really small collection vi video, um, you may have seen this figure. Um, this request was made by CJ Productions, Inc., and I am very glad to do it because he's a very good friend of mine and a very good friend of the show. So, let's get to the review. Um, as you can already tell, this is Evil Tiga. Here's the box for it. Now, interesting to know that I don't think this is part of the same line as the other Ultraman Bandai figures, because normally on the bottom you can see that it would say Ultra Hero Series. This, however, does not. I think this may have been released with the, with the show when it came out, or something like that, <clears throat> because it's not part of the same line, because there is another Evil Tiga figure there that looks probably a lot better. This one, I think, was made much earlier. But... The back of the box does show some good art work of him. Well, actually, it's not artwork. I mean, it's um, the suit, which is good, which I like, because it, rather than just showing me a, like a blown-up image of the figure, it's showing me just the suit itself that they used. Um, overall, his detail, he does look like the suit, you know? But... Um, it just seems like they didn't put a lot of work into this one as much as they usually do. But this is because it's probably an older figure. Um, his legs are a little weird. He's a little bow-legged, but that's okay. Um, his face, not that heavily detailed. Not that it ever was. Um, in relation to Ultraman Tiga, I only have this Tiga to really compare. But, as you can see, I mean... There's a slight, there's a slight height difference, but it's not too much of a problem. But still, you'd like them to be equal height. I'm, I'm assuming the Bandai, the other Bandai version of Ultraman Tiga would fit nicely in scale with him. And other than that, it's it's a decent figure. Um, if you ever find it, I'd recommend getting it if you're a fan of Ultraman Tiga and Evil Tiga. Um, but definitely, you probably won't find this version of the figure. I'm pretty sure they don't like distribute these anymore. You can probably just find the Hero series. Alright, I'm just going to show you guys Evil Tiga. Some much better view of him from the video game Ultraman Fighting Evolution 3. Which I definitely have to do a review now since I'm showing you guys off the game. Here's its stats. I'm not sure you can see. If you guys can't read Japanese, I really can't. But apparently he's 54 meters tall and weighs 44 point thousand, like a thousand tons, 44,000 tons. That seems like a lot, but whatever. He fight, faces off against Ultraman in this stage. Um, it, he appears, I'm not sure exactly what episode, but it's near the end of the series. Um, he's a pretty formidable foe. Only shows up once, but he's become a, really a fan favorite. His moves are just as dirty as they are in the show. And I would really wish the figure looked a lot more like this, but sadly it doesn't. But at least I got this. It's almost like having a virtual action figure, pretty much. Because then I can play with him in the game. But anyways, that's that. Alright, since, since the Evil Tiger review didn't take too long, I'm going to review another one. Another evil Ultraman. Ultraman Shadow from Ultraman Xerath 2. Now, if you're not familiar with Ultraman Xerath, it's a com it's a comedy of Ultraman, and this is the sequel where in which which is I think better in which he fights pretty much a ro a robot version of himself who like beats the crap out of him. So um, this, however, this one as I mentioned before, this one is actually part of the Ultra Hero series, and it's number 18 in the series. It's it's details, very nice. Um, it kind of looks purple. It may look black in this video, but it's actually kind of a purpley color. Which is kind of close to the suit, but it's very nice. It has a nice texture to it. Because unlike the other ones, it's not like a glossy kind of like plastic look. This one actually looks like a solid, smooth like paint job. You know, very marbly. Like, it's actually kind of a... It's not really as rubbery as the other ones. It's actually kind of um, thick and tough to move. But, um, I don't think I mentioned in the other one, but there is articulation in these figures. Not much. Arms can rotate. 360. And the waist can't really move. It can, but it's, it's kind of fixed. 
around the stomach area so it can't. The box art shows a, a still from the movie. The sign shows a good view of him. Really menacing. And there's the clash between him and Zareth. Unfortunately, I do not have Zareth to compare, but they are I've seen it and they are in good relation to each other. And the character card itself um, is the same is basically the same thing. And then the character's number, which is 18.